A large coalition of agricultural groups is urging swift action in the negotiation and implementation of the U.S.-Japan trade agreement. The National Association of State Departments of Agriculture, along with many agricultural organizations, have signed a letter to Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer this week. The group says the U.S. food and agricultural industry is increasingly disadvantaged by competing regional and bilateral agreements with Japan that have already been implemented. Now, this does include the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership and the European Union-Japan Economic Partnership Agreement. A study commissioned by the Plant-Based Foods Association says 76% of survey respondents are in favor of allowing dairy terms on plant-based items, while those self-described as consumers were 97% in favor. The Food and Drug Administration accepted comments on the issue of labeling non-dairy imitators as dairy items recently. National Milk Producers Federation spokesperson Chris Galen says, however, that the survey shows that the vegan community was confused about the question being asked by the FDA. The Department of Agriculture intends to grant an experimental license for an African swine fever vaccine. The intent was published in the Federal Register this week that USDA's Agricultural Research Service intends to grant the license to a company in Bulgaria that manufactures and markets human and animal health products. Currently, there is no commercially available vaccine to protect swine from this deadly virus. Now, despite the work being done by the company in Bulgaria and others, National Pork Producers Council veterinarian Liz Wagstrom told Reuters in February that researchers at USDA believe a vaccine is a decade away. And researchers at the European Union believe development of a vaccine may take at least 20 years. That's a look to your news. I'm Susan Littlefield on the Rural Radio Network. This is Mike. Mike likes his car. Mike likes to save money. And Mike likes to breathe. So Mike fills up with E15 with 15% American ethanol. The clean octane in E15 gives Mike the performance he wants from his engine and the clean air he wants for his family. Better yet, E15 costs less at the pump. Higher octane, cleaner air, lower cost. E15 sure gives Mike a lot to like. Discover E15 with American ethanol.